General Mathematics Preliminary Earning Money Part 1 Salary This is stage 6, year 11 Salary Salary is paid on an annual basis, meaning it's paid in a year, right? To calculate a monthly pay, you divide it by 12. To, to calculate a fortnightly pay, you divide it by 26. To calculate a weekly pay, you divide it by 52. So what it means when it says calculate a monthly pay and you, it says divided by 12, what like these numbers that come after the, the sentences, it just means how much how much is actually in a year. So like say month, there's 12 months in a year, right? Say fortnight, there's 26 fortnights in a year and so forth. Like weeks, there's 52 weeks in a year. You get the idea. For example, John earns an annual salary of 75000 per annum. Calculate his monthly, fortnightly, and weekly pay. So basically, if you ever encounter this question, whether if it's just homework, uh, an exam, or just like a simple test, right? It basically says you have to answer his, um, you have to find out his, he, how much he gets paid per month, how much he gets paid a fortnight, and how much he gets paid a week. So down below, we got the answers. Monthly pay equals 75,000 divided by 12, which is 6,450. And always remember to put only two decimal points. Remember that there's no such thing as three decimal points. Remember that. And if there is, you round it off to the nearest two decimal points. Fortnightly pay equals 75,000 divided by 26, which is 2,884.62. Now you may be wondering why it's just left at 62. Also like, oh, there's no such thing as 62 cents. That doesn't make sense. Well, you have to leave it in that form, you know. You can't round it off unless, of course, it's like three decimals. You have to round it off only to two decimals, okay? If you did change it, however, you're changing the answer. That's why we want, we want it to close to the two decimal points. And you don't want to change the actual value. Because if you change it to the nearest, like, say, five cents, that's going to change the number. It's, it changes its whole meaning. Continuing on. Weekly pay equals 75,000 divided by 52 equals 1442.31 now what's not mentioned in this slide is um how much weeks there are in a month and i will i will answer that but first we shall go through the slide to calculate how how many weeks in a month is let's get some background info here the julian calendar uses 365.25 days for its year which is basically saying 365 and 6 hours in a whole year this calendar is accurate as it follows the solar slash tropical year. Step 1. Take the number of days of an average year that is a non-leap year. So that is 605.25 uh, divided that by 12 equals average days in a month. Then divide that number by 7 because that's how many days there are in a week. There is your approximate answer. If you want a more approximate answer, round it off to two decimal places. Alright, let's try to do that right now with my actual calculator on my computer. So we've got 365.25 days, right? You divide that by 12 because there's 12 days in a month, uh, 12 months in a year. That's how many average days there are in a month. You then divide that by 7 because that's how many weeks, I mean, how many days there are in a week? And if you round it off to two decimal places, you get 4.35. So basically, we're right here, 365.25 divided by 12 equals 365.25 divided by 12. You put that over there, brackets, average, average days in a month, right? We got that. All right. We then divide that by we then divide that by seven. All right, because there's seven days in a week. Divide that by seven. Approximate, which is basically the approximate weeks in a month. Now, if we want to round that off to two decimal points, it's Simple. We just basically go to the decimal points here. See that number here? See how it's 4.348? Because that, that that value after the 4 is, is greater than 5, or, or anything that is 5 or greater becomes um, 
it adds an extra one to the next number. So see this eight here? We're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna get rid of that. So let's just write it here. We're gonna get rid of that eight. So, and that and that four instantly becomes a five. So basically, the answer is th four point three five weeks in a month. Approximately 4.35 weeks in a month if If you round it off To two decimals Two decimal places All right, all right moving on in relation to salary or financial maths we'll get an example Ashley earns $379 a week how much does she earn in question this is question a per year so her annual pay so this is the actual formula all right annual pay equals $379 times weeks in a year so we know that it's her weekly pay and then it times it by 52 which is just get a calculator Boop. 379 times that by 52 you get 1908 not bad I'm guessing she's um this person is like is like just starting off as a career I mean if you if you are talk, if we're talking someone who's in the mid 20s or late 20s they will probably earn somewhere around 30 to 50k depending on your job but I'm just guessing that's someone young okay let's try question B how much does Ashley earn per month so her monthly pay equals 379 so her weekly pay right times weeks in a month now remember the weeks in a month was approximately 4.335 so we gotta times it by 4.35 because that's that's how many weeks there are in a month approximately if you rounded it off to two decimal places so it's 379 times 4.35 right and then your answer will be let me just get the calculator 379 times 4.35 boom Put that over there. Great number. And that's how much she earns in a month. 1,648.65. Hope you liked it. That was salary. And that's a wrap.